Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this two-part video, you should be able to carry out calculations based on the concentration of solutions. OK, now before we start looking at solutions, we need to take a look at the volume of liquids. In day-to-day -day use, the volume of liquids is often given in litres. For example, this water bottle can hold one litre of water. A milliliter is one thousandth of one litre. Now, in science, we never use litres as a measure of volume. Instead, we use the unit decimeter cubed, and this is also called a cubic decimeter. A decimeter cubed has the symbol dm to the power of 3. One thousandth of a decimeter cubed is called a centimeter cubed, and a centimeter cubed has the symbol cm to the power of 3. Now, in chemistry, we often convert between decimeters cubed and centimeters cubed. Remember that one decimeter cubed is one thousand centimeters cubed. So to convert from decimeters cubed to centimeters cubed, we multiply by 1,000. To convert from centimeters cubed to decimeters cubed, we divide by 1,000. Now many students find this confusing, so it's really important that you learn this. OK, now we can calculate the concentration of a solution by using this equation. The concentration in moles per decimeter cubed equals the amount of substance in moles divided by the volume in decimeters cubed. And we use the symbol lowercase c for concentration, lowercase n for the amount of substance in moles, and uppercase v for volume. OK, here's a question for you to try. 0.5 moles of copper sulphate was dissolved in water. The final volume of the solution was 2 decimeters cubed. Calculate the concentration of the solution. So pause the video and try this yourself. OK, to calculate the concentration, we divide the amount of substance in moles by the volume in decimeters cubed. Dividing 0.5 moles by 2 decimeters cubed gives us a concentration of 0.25 moles per decimeter cubed. Now, there is one important point here that you need to note. The unit of concentration is moles per decimeter cubed, and there are two ways to write this. You can either write mol dm to the power of minus 3, or you can write mol slash dm to the power of 3. But you must not write mol slash dm to the power of minus 3, as that's not correct. Coming up, I'll give you some more questions to try. OK, here's another question for you. Calculate the number of moles of lithium chloride required to produce 0.2 decimeters cubed of a solution with a concentration of 1.5 moles per decimeter cubed. Now, to answer this question, you'll have to rearrange the equation for concentration. So pause the video now and try this yourself. OK, to calculate the amount of substance in moles, we need to multiply the concentration by the volume. Multiplying 0.2 by 1.5 gives us an answer of 0.3 moles. OK, here's another question for you. Four moles of calcium nitrate was dissolved in water, producing a solution with a concentration of 0.5 moles per decimeter cubed. Calculate the volume of the solution. So pause the video now and try this yourself. OK, in this question, we've got to calculate the volume of a solution. To do that, we divide the amount of substance in moles by the concentration. Dividing 4 by 0.5 gives us a final volume of 8 decimeters cubed. Here's another question for you. 0.2 moles of potassium iodide was dissolved in water, producing a final volume of 400 centimeters cubed. Calculate the concentration of the solution. So pause the video now and try this yourself. OK, now in this question, you can see that the volume of solution has been given in centimetres cubed. That means that we first need to convert this to decimetres cubed. To convert from centimetres cubed to decimetres cubed, we divide by 1000. Dividing 400 by 1000 gives us a volume of 0.4 decimetres cubed. To calculate the concentration, we divide the amount of substance in moles by the volume. Dividing 0.2 by 0.4 gives us a concentration of 0.5 moles per decimeter cubed. OK, here's a final question for you. Calculate the number of moles of silver nitrate required to produce 300 centimeters cubed of a solution with a concentration of 1.2 moles per decimeter cubed. So pause the video now and try this yourself. OK, again in this question, the volume has been given in centimeters cubed. So first, we need to convert this to decimeters cubed. Dividing 300 by 1000 gives us a volume of 0.3 decimeters cubed. To calculate the amount of substance in moles, we multiply the concentration by the volume. Multiplying 1.2 by 0.3 gives us a final answer of 0.36 moles. 
In the next video, we look at calculating concentration when given the mass of a substance. Thank you.